Hi, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the picture tubes in Corel Paint Shop Pro. So this is the picture I'm going to use for the tutorial. Let's zoom out this picture. So the picture tube is found here. The little icon here, the picture tube tool. Click on it. And if you see here you'll find uh, a list of uh, the picture tubes in your uh, computer so these are the preloaded picture tubes you'll find in uh, Coral Paint Shop Pro and quite a few here those are the tubes I've made for myself so if you want to use these picture tubes on your one of your editing pictures you just need to click on them and put it over there it's as simple as that but what if you want to move this tube let's click on the big tube but you see this is the problem when I click on the uh, pick tool it selects the whole picture but not the tube I want so for that get back to the few steps so press ctrl z So in order to have the flexible flexibility, I would use a, a new layer here instead of directly keeping the picture tube onto my image edit, uh, present picture. So right click on here and uh, select a new raster layer, rename this one as a uh, picture tube and click ok now go to the picture tube tool and select select any of the picture tubes in the in the list let's see you get select this one click on here click on here see changes so we have a different kinds of butterflies let's do like this this nice so let's control z okay now i've got uh, one butterfly here and if you want to pick that one just click on the pick tool and there it is you got the nice uh, pick tool option here and now you can either increase the size or decrease the size if you can even rotate the picture tube in whatever the direction you want let's see okay I like it that way you can also increase the opacity or lower the opacity you just need to move the slider here now you see the color of the picture tube matches with the color of your picture so this would be the appropriate color for that picture tube and now once you've done with everything of your picture tube you would need to merge these two layers here so for that you need to go to layers and then merge and you need to click merge or flatten or visible usually like click on merge or flatten before I do that let me put some more picture tubes here I click on picture tube and I select the bird and you see that's the problem so for the bird you would need to make one more raster layer in order to get control of that bird you can name this as a bird and now select the picture tube now as you have already selected the bird it's showing up here so you, you need not select it again just click on it so these are the different kinds of birds and 
and you can adjust the opacity and kind of like that way and now click on layers go to merge click on flatten or all visible now this has become a single picture okay now you can save this picture click file save as and make sure that uh, you've got uh, whatever the option you want like I usually prefer a JPEG format name it happy Halloween 2 and save and whatever it appears here you can just click yes that's it so this is all about picture tubes thank you guys